Hello everyone and welcome back to another one of my deck guides. For today I have a Northern Realms deck for you. We're going to be using the Inspired Zeal Leader ability. This allows us to boost an allied Northern Realms unit by 2 and give it Zeal. We've got 3 charges of this. One charge of that will be used on Raphard's Vengeance when we first play it. And then the two remaining charges are simply going to go to Prince. And also we have Siltkirk that we're going to use a charge on. So fits perfectly and we're going to play it exactly like that consistently every time for the best results the stratagem that we have is crystal skull boost an ally unit by four and give it veil the target for crystal skull it's not going to be really raffards i think because we're clicking leader onto raffards so it's going to be a seven powered unit tall i think it's okay it's safe you could use um, crystal skull on king henselt or perhaps a Caraballista um, when you're going first round, all right? So we're taking advantage of the thinning um, mechanic, I guess you could say, in this deck through the use of the Siege Masters. They thin so great. I really like this new addition. So we have added them in here. As you can see, the title is Thinning is Winning because it's a big part of our deck. So what I'm going to do now is take you guys through this list bottom up and explain how best to play each card and when to play it. So we'll just go with the Siege Masters. We have two of them in here. They provide great thinning. Um, so much so that I don't even feel the need to use um, Natalis anymore as a thinning card when playing NR, or at least this style. So whenever we play a Siege Engine, this card summon itself from our hand to the right of that card and then we're drawing a card what i'd say with the siege masters is if you're going first probably just take one with you because it does give you good tempo as well that you could use in like round two if you want to push for a bleed but if your opponent is going first i'd say take them both with you because you could really out tempo your opponent and win on even round one a lot of the times next up we have two royal guards this is just to synergize with Raphard's Vengeance. Obviously, we're looking to play um, units that can work with the crew ability of this card. So having these cards in hand round one, when you've got Raphard's Vengeance down on the board, you can click Raphard's Vengeance and you thin these cards down next to Raphard's uh, Vengeance side by side. Raphard's Vengeance will do damage. And we have that thinning going on with these soldiers in our hand, right? Bronze units. That's how Raphards works. It's going to thin out bronze um, units for us. So we've got Pella in here as well. Purify a unit. It's pretty much a standard inclusion for me in any deck that I make most of the time. Because you can purify an opponent's defender, heat wave something behind it. Also, we've got tons of order ability units. Maybe one gets locked, you could purify it. Double winch, boost an allied unit by 5, reduce its cooldown by 3. I suggest you take both winches with you into round 1. And the target would obviously be Raphard's Vengeance, so you can thin quicker, um, refreshing its ability. Henselt will be getting a boost by that. Also, the Caraballistas are good round 1 to boost with winch, because Henselt will get boosted by that also. Um, next up, we have two Bombardments. Split 4 damage randomly between all enemy units but we're increasing the damage by one for each siege engine that we control. Bombardment probably plays biggest when we're playing um, our siege scenario card right here because we're spawning a lot of siege engines. Uh, but you know, you can use it pretty flexibly because generally we have siege units, um, siege engine units in this deck. It should play for decent value. Um, try to take these in with siege scenario though when you're playing that. Double reinforced ballista. Play it on the range throw at best and take these in with you uh, when we're playing our Siege Scenario card. Cool down one, damage a unit by one, and it has resupply as well. I've uh, got two Caraballistas in here. This is to work with um, giving Henselt, you know, extra crew targets to thin. But I find Caraballista is nice round one. You can put one to the side of Henselt and then you have Raphard's Vengeance on the other side. So Henselt's getting some good consistent boosting as well. Um, this has now got the resupply tag to it, which is great. This card works really good. I'm very happy with the overall changes to um, NR Siege Engine archetypes. And um, we're just doing two points of damage. 
It's a ranged roadlock card, cooldown 3. So I said Winch is a good target for this. Also, it's got crew, so at the end of your turn, you gain one armor. If it's in between two soldiers, keep that in mind as well. Um, we have double boiling oil, just for some control. Damage an enemy unit by five. Th this really makes our deck so strong because if you've got Carabalista down and you've got all this control in your hand, you can really just keep clearing up whatever your opponent plays. So keep in mind it purifies adjacent units too. It could come in handy for you, maybe if there's an immunity unit on the board. Feel free to take these with you first round or when you're playing Siege Scenario. I did put Odrin in here. I find he works very nicely with a Siege Scenario card. He adds benefit to the uh, Trebuchet. This unit here, because you know when you play Siege and you put this card down, your opponent, they just play around it, right? And you sometimes you get no value out of this. But um, we could really work with the crew ability so easily by putting Odrin down next to it and it can do some consistent points of damage. What I'd say is go ahead and play this when you're playing Siege Scenario. Play it next to the Trebuchet. And then your next um, play after that would be Foltus Pride, right? Really, we have this uh, Odrin card in here to work with Foltus Pride to give that max value. But it also works good with War Chariot if you want to consider that. Or what other, whatever other cards we got with the crew tag. Then we've got War Chariot. Um, this has resupply as well. The order is give bleeding four to a unit. Ranged is move an enemy unit, but crew you can combine both abilities. So once again, look to use this with Odrin. Also movement is good if you're versing row locked units like Kiltalus. Faltus Pride. Damage an enemy unit by two, adjacent units by one. Cooldown four, we're looking to keep the, the cooldown to two by playing it next to Odrin, right? So don't click um, the order unless Odrin is next to it. Like, wait for that timing. Maybe play Odrin first, then Foltus Pride. Try to play this when you're playing the Scenario card for max value. Selkirk for some control. We get to duel an enemy unit. Use one leader charge on it. You could commit, like, Selkirk or Prince round one. That's okay. One or the other, not both. As I said, same thing. We're just alternating between the two. Use them as you need to for control. Play this on the range row so you get a boost and then you're clicking leader on it. Um, if for some reason you don't want to waste leader, you want to save it, you could just play it on the melee row for zeal and get to do damage 4 to a unit. Raphard's Vengeance gives us so much tempo, so much thinning. Play this first round. And the, the way we're going to play Raphard's Vengeance is we're going to thin it out through King Henselt. So Henselt allows us to play a crew unit from our deck. Um, what you're going to do is, round one, have Henselt in your hand. Leave Vengeance in the deck. You play Henselt on the board. You bring um, Vengeance out. Put it next to Henselt to work with the cooldown effect that they have together. That ability, how they synergize well. And then you're going to click Leader onto Raphard's Vengeance. And then you want a handful of like soldiers and bronze units. And then you're just going to start thinning them out for good tempo, okay? So round one, play Vengeance with Henselt. Heatwave for control. It's so damn consistent, man. It's good against traps. It's good against Melusine, um, you know, Witcher Sabbath stuff. Even Skellige summoning units from the graveyard. So damn consistent. I'm always keeping it in my deck the way things are looking. Just you, try to use this on valuable things like scenario cards or cards your opponent's going to pull back later if you got rid of them. Henselt we covered. We got AA for some access. Echo card, we play it twice. Play a Northern Realms unit from your deck with a provision cost of 9 or less. Boost it by 1 for each provision below the limit. Sometimes if you just need points to get out of a situation, um, you know, if you didn't play Royal Guards, you could use AA to just pull that for a pretty nice boosted unit and some points through the order. But usually you find AA... You know, could give you some flexibility and maybe getting Silt Kirk to get rid of something on the board. Also, reinforce Ballista when you're playing Siege Scenario as an activator. Um, even even when uh, you're going first in round one, maybe you want to play a soldier next to Raphard's Vengeance. There's a few different ways you could play that. And then, um, big power play of ours is the Siege Scenario card that we're playing. Um, obviously, you want to take this into round two or three. That's when you're going to play this. 
open up with it and start playing all your siege units out and you get to spawn these units you see here along with bomb bombardment at the end okay so just pay attention to what gets spawned and what you need to activate it with that is a rundown of the list now i'm going to take you guys through habits to play the strategy of this deck so what we're going to do is round one uh we're going to talk in terms of optimal and best case scenarios okay what you want to look for is playing Henselt as a first move, drawing out Raphard's Vengeance from your deck, play Vengeance next to Henselt, use Leader on Vengeance, and then you want to thin out the Royal Guards from your hand, and you want to have Siege Master at that time in your hand, and play Carabalistas. Let's say that wins you round one. Because we are running units with order ability, they're slower to respond, so we want to go first with this deck. So getting round control is good for us, I mean, obviously consider your opponent's strategy, but usually you want to do this. We want to get round control, and then you push into round two. The first play you're going to do of round two is open up with Siege Scenario. Then you can play Odrin next to the Trebuchet that gets spawned on the range row, so you know it can damage any unit with the crew ability. Then to activate it, um, the, the Siege card, you can play Foltest Pride next to Odrin, once again to work with the cooldown very nicely. And then you just play like reinforced ballistas and whatever else you have. Sometimes you can 2-0 with this deck. If not, see if you can go for a short round of like Selkirk, maybe Heat Wave and some other units that you got remaining. But generally, you want to tend to bleed with scenario, okay? I hope you're going to enjoy this deck. I had a lot of great matches with it. It applies a lot of pressure. Sometimes you could even win on the first round because you just outpoint your opponent so bad and they can't come back from a pass if you pass on the right time so let me know how you go with it and thanks for your time right we really want Raphard's vengeance first round i didn't get it here you know i've got henselt in this deck so we've got a bit of a combo there first round you go siege masters works pretty nicely you can really out-tempo the opponent with this deck. That's what I find. It's very hard to keep up with the tempo. Especially if you got these. But we'll see what they play anyway. Looks like it's going to be Carabalista first. They've already used Mask? Okay. So... Maybe they didn't have Coral. I'm not really sure what happened there. Alright. Winch works so good with um, Carabalist that's crazy. This, this resupply buff stuff is nuts to be honest. Bit interesting to see. Like, look how good that is already. <laughs> I don't even have the right cards here, and that already feels really good. Just using Carabalista. With winch. It's nuts. I speak for the land to see. Yeah. The lady is content. I, I don't really mind giving them the round. Just because of how my hand is here. Berserk 3 is it? We could save winch for vengeance. So yeah, I'll let them take this. I want to save my better cards for later. But yeah, Siege Master is great, man. I really like it. <laughs> it feels so good. Northern Realm Siege feels pretty strong right now already. Just testing this deck out before. Be a good heat wave for us later. I'm sure we're gonna see that come back from the graveyard. 
I bet they have Knut in this deck. And that um that other card that got a buff. They work pretty crazy now. They're not bad. Yeah, that's good. I'd like to see how far they want to play into this. Boiling oil could be alright. I could just click like one more time. I mean, winch is really good too. I don't know. Yeah, heat wave's great. Okay. If they pass, I think that's good for us because we want to go first with the engines that we have. It works better. Oh. I could play Vengeance now. I'll give them two I mean, that's that's what this this was intended for round one, to be honest. So we could set it up now, whatever. Maybe we'll make them pass doing this. This is a round one package. That's how strong our deck is, because we've got siege to go with later. Hey, what's up Dutch? How are you, man? I mean, I could go Selkirk here. Well... Actually, this is probably good too, isn't it? We'll see if they pass. Hey, finally got you online. Usually I watch your vlogs. Ah, oh, epic. Welcome. You'll get to see my next deck guide then. This is it. Better this way I can read. Ah, oh, yeah. True, true. Nice. <laughs> Makes it easier, huh? Rank 2. Well done. Siege. Ah, oh, so you're playing Siege 2. Oh wow, they're playing into this? Okay. Interesting. Fill our hearts with Well, so race is a big threat too, isn't it? It's gonna fully heal. I will just do this. I mean, they don't really have anything there except for that unit. We can heat wave Melusine. It's alright. <laughs> yeah, it's so strong, Hensalt, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, th that's how I'm playing this deck too. You get such good tempo with Siege Master, eh? It's crazy. <laughs> Honestly, it feels bad. I feel bad for them. Maybe we just go Bombardment now, kill that off first.
They could pass if they really want. Okay, well he wave Mel you see now. Should be good. Gets us ahead now, nicely. This is Berserk 3, we've got to watch that. Um, give us card advantage, come on. Very stonk. <laughs> yeah, I like it. I like the feel of the control. It feels really nice. And control seems to be the way more and more as this game evolves. The control decks seem to be the ones coming out on top. I'm looking forward to testing Nilfgaard after this. They probably passed now, I reckon. Oh, Devotion? Yeah. I find Heat Wave is just... I'm always adding Heat Wave in, because... Look, they always bring cards back from the graveyard, even with SK. You just saw it right there. This should be really good for us now. We just play Siege first, and we just rip it. We just get right into it. I still got Hensalt in deck. I didn't even pull it yet. They could have Defender, but... I'm not really going to count on Pele here. Oh yeah, he's not. Okay. Well, he works good to give this siege value that gets spawned. Because you know the opponent always plays around that. So I find that's nice. The goal is to get to rank 2 of this deck. That's what I'm aiming to do. Yeah, he, he waves definitely a good answer. Um, no doubt about it. Maybe this first. So what's AA gonna pull me? Yeah, Defender. Right. See if we can work around Defender. I, I was kind of expecting it, but I don't want to have Pella and have it dead. That's terrible, so... 6 for 5. Yeah, yeah. I feel Heat Wave's a must, man. I really feel like it is. It's... Like, I was trying to think of what the most consistent card in Gwent is. It probably is Heat Wave, to be honest. I don't feel Heat Wave ever really fails me. Like, adding the provisions in a deck. Always feels nice. They can have the um, alchemy card that summons back a unit as well. It's very possible. I think they bring Defender back now. We'll see. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. The Warfare card. Yeah, see? Oh, they've gone for that, really? What? Well, we're just boiling oil that.
Not really sure about the strategy there. Um, I'm probably not going to use this char charge on this. Damage an allied unit by half its current power. Hmm. I think I'll leave that. Because then we're given a Berserk. It's Berserk 5. That's why. Why should I give them that? Maybe they're going to use it for something. You gotta pay close attention to the text always, you know? Sometimes it can cost you. Hmm. Hey, we just go for this. I'll go, um, Fault Test Pride next, I think. Ah, it's all good Dutch, don't worry, man. You see, I'm taking my time reading the text as well, because you don't want to rush, make a mistake, like I said. It can cost you. Right? Berserk 3 heal self. Well, that's going to heal anyway, right? Through this. Um, I could do like three damage to it, but I'll still be alive. It would have healed it anyway. Winch should pull through for us. Back row. Could have been. Ah, we got it. I think we're good anyway here. Um. Good win. Nice. Will it be the new cards? We'll see, man. Didn't get hand silk, but it's okay. Got some other bronzes to play into. It hasn't backfired yet on every <laughs> There he is. <laughs> Man, my luck, eh? We could come back around to him. Hey, Raging Gwen Attic, what's up? Assimilate. <laughs> you weren't expecting this, were you? I want to copy it, hey?
This kills it off too. Round one's usually like really good tempo for us. Hence up between them. I think it's too much for round one. We probably want to save him. Oh, I was playing this. I haven't seen this unit played in a while. Um, I, I can't really use Raphard's Vengeance next. I don't have a bronze to thin. Maybe we just go winch. Winch here. Maybe I'll hold the charge. Yeah, it's too many points. I don't want to toss that many points. Using it back is pretty nice for them. I think I'll pass next. I'd rather save the rest of my hand here. I think a long round should be okay as long as we get to go first. There's still some fair few points they gotta cover, you know? They got bleeding as well. So we'll see what happens. Dead man's tongue's pretty good for points usually. Okay, so they got two damage. Puts us on 33, but they go down the 24. What are they gonna do? They got Blight Maker. Imagine if they blew Leader here to get out of this. That would be great if that happens. <laughs> Fourth pit, you think? <laughs> yeah. Hey, you always gotta watch points when you play, you know? Can't get comfortable. Yeah, I think maybe they maybe it's hard for them. They're taking their time. Maybe we're gonna see a good toss from them here. Bribery might not even be enough to be honest. I think leader's gonna go if they screw this because bribery is not guaranteed. They're gonna play something again, they got bleeding. Wow! <laughs> oh yes! I knew it man! I knew it, I knew it. I knew we got them. Yeah, this match is over man. Up the tree you go lad, quick now! Retrieve my bolt! Wow. Good. <laughs> Worked out nicely, hey. Uh, we need a card to toss, though. Yeah, it's probably going to be that. I'd rather keep it, but anyway. We could save AA to give it a bigger boost next. 
And going first is going to be great for us with Siege. GG. <laughs> well, we've got to stay sharp. NG is very strong. They got a lot of points. So, you know, you got to stay focused to the end of the match. Still playing on. Hence, pretty sweet. Try to look for Siege Master. Uh, could be nice, you know, could have got some extra things, but anyway. Uh, so, yeah, Henselt will pull us um, Carabalista. But I think we just open up like this. Go Odrin next, uh, next to it. And then, you know, you can go Foltest Pride. Play it like that. I think uh, Self Kirk's probably reasonable there, isn't it? We should watch their leader. Terra Nova. Raphards. Maybe Odrin next. Odrin, and I've got to think of Heat Wave, probably get rid of that. Look for a juicy target. I mean, Nova's probably going to be the biggest target anyway, isn't it? Nova's going to be a Heat Wave, I think. Yeah, I know. I'll try to move it quick. Heat Wave, Arthur? Yeah. I think so. Could be heat wave next now. Just to be safe. That's smart. Putting spies between the units. Oh, well that's pretty good. I think we get heat wave there. Even better. Good that we waited a bit actually. They don't really have the best cards to pull from us to be honest. Outside of Foltest Pride after Heat Wave. It could be a bad leader for them. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. It does. We're caught up as well. Next is Pride next to Odrin. That's what we're going to do to work with the cooldown. See, cooldown 2. That's great. Wow. <laughs> That's so good of Odrin, man. Jeez. We should probably get Henselt. I think. 
Hey, what's up, cats? How are you? Doing well, thanks. How about yourself? They're probably going to lead it now anyway, though. Bombardment for the win. Yeah. Yeah, we'll go Henselt next for value. The senses can be fooled easily. A secret compartment. Delightful. Wow. Well, we've still got the cooldown set anyway. Do we have room for Henselt? Just, isn't it? Just enough room. Wow, winch. Super weak, eh? Good for us. Ah, oh, yeah, well, that, that gives us room anyway. Uh... <laughs> Just blast everything, man. I, I think I don't really care about that. We'll just go for points. We'll go here. Damn. Nice. Slaying with a siege list today. Wow, you went on a sick run. Nice. 21 and 2 is epic. Good on you. Yeah, just put this deck together myself. I like how it's performing, to be honest. Yeah, I love the thinning. It's so nice. I don't even use Natalis anymore after that card. Do you honestly think you can catch me? You fool. I think it plays for more value if I win here. Wait, what are we going AA for? Oh, we're going for another one anyway. Sage first? They got Yennefer probably, right? Last cards, like, yeah, that's it. Really? Took Prince? So they're gonna hit, um... Are they gonna hit, uh, what's his name? Yoakim now? I think we just play this back row, isn't it? If the king demands a head, I'll give him yours. Like, I could have went winch then and killed it, but anyway. We're really good for points. They go coup into, um, rinse, isn't it? Yeah, it's really great, the resupply mechanic now on these cards. I'm very happy with it. Wow, nice. They they came back for some points at the end there. Uh... Just go like that. Uh... Nice. Two wins in a row. Ooh, sweet talker. Look at an achievement. A sweet it's a challenge. I wonder if going double this is like is that overdoing it for round one? I'm still figuring if I should commit that hard. Because it's like it's tempo as well that we could use later. 
I guess thinning's good though as well. If I play uh, Raphard's Vengeance, I don't really have a card in my hand to work with it. Unless these thin me some cards. Maybe we just go for it still. <laughs> this just looks funny now when you do this. I just laugh, honestly. There we go. Yeah, nice, nice. It worked. Okay. <laughs> Look at this tempo. This is, this is ridiculous. Right? <laughs> Look at our points already in one turn. Um... Maybe that? I don't know. Was that a good idea? Maybe it goes too tall. I could have went Carabalista or that. Uh, yeah, that's what I was thinking, cats. Yeah, I was kind of thinking that myself. I think, honestly, with this deck, you could win on even so much if you do this combo, what I just did now, like double Siege Master. It's just too much tempo, man. <laughs> I didn't get what deck they got. 23 points in one turn, but then again, we got Stratagem going first. Yeah. Frigates. Uh, can't you see my deck in the Gwent Observer there? This is what I got, like what you see in here. And uh, my hand, that's it. <laughs> I feel bad for them. Yeah, I think we're getting round control and we're just gonna push into round two with Siege. We just wanna get Scenario, that's it. Between Siege Masters. Um, that way, all it's doing is gaining armor, but I wanted to work with Hensolt for boosting. For me, it's more important. We don't really need armor here. They're vampires, they're bleeding. There, they got nothing. See, this is why we want to go first with this deck whenever you're playing it, right? Your opponent's going to play a, a card and he just blasts it. And that's how we try to win that kind of pressure. So I'm going to do the same next round. We win this. We go into the next round. Granted, we get the good cards, right? If you get a bad hand, what can you do? But if we get Siege, I'm going to do the same thing. We kill that with Boiling Oil. But that's good if they want to commit leader, to be honest. I, I don't feel it's even necessary for them to do that. They're, they're just giving us more advantage later. Um, like, we're so comfortable. I've, I've just got damage waiting on the board, as you can see. Yeah, it's really good, Dutch. It's really, really good. So for Warfare cards later, we got Winch. Uh, I'd rather save that. Wow, that's tough, Cats. Yeah. That, that's a really unlucky match by the sounds of it. Another plummet.
We're still boosting by one. And we'll get to go first is what I want, so I don't mind to do it. I'm sure they'll go down two cards. To make those points. Vampires can't make points really quick. Maybe they'll have to spend a bit. It's kind of like just our last match we had when I passed like this. They went card down in the last one. My positivity is overwhelming. Ah, it's the way everyone should be, man. See, we've got Proto Flitter out. Still not enough points. Still boosting. Good. It's good pressure, you know? Sometimes a pass is good. Think of your strategy. Like, what do you want? I want to go first. I know they're going to go down another card. They'll pass next. Long round three, full of control. It should work for us against vampires. We just kill the Flitters when we see them. And we should have it. Got heat wave. We've got so much control too. It's not easy, man. It's, you got to consider your points on the board. I keep saying it. Last opponent did the same thing. Cost them a card in the match. That's pretty crazy because they actually finished close on points. Nilfgaard assimilate on that last match. Even though we had card advantage. I wonder if they pass now with us card up. They do that sometimes. They burn a card. Ooh, that's the best case scenario. Yeah, they're screwed, man. I told you guys. I told you. Would they burn? Uh, anyway. Yep. Yeah, GG. Battle, battle of the best leader, we'll see, man. <laughs> true, true. Don't give him a long round three. Yeah. We want to get round control and just go round two right away. We'll try to win on even uh, with Vengeance. Can be a lot of points. Um, they probably got that too though. Yeah, true. I probably missed that to be honest. Yeah, that's better if we got Raphards in deck for sure. That's okay. I'll work around it. Momentum, a function of mass and velocity. Oh, nice. I'm an officer. I'm a gentleman. Good. That, that worked out pretty nicely. Good thinning. Yeah, no way. Fit right in there. Nah, I never play that. Never, ever have I tested that. I've got all the achievements unlocked, but anything around that, I don't. Wow, pride already? That's good. Why not? It's dead. It's no good. You don't like it. Carabalista as well. Oh, 
Probably just boiling oil Carabalista. I could even go um, Prince on that. That's seven powered unit. Could be good. Gonna work out, but my garage is too cold. Really? Man, I, I work out no matter what, like rain, hail, storm, thunder, you name it. Heat, doesn't matter. I've transformed my garage into a fully functional gym. I got everything. Squat rack, cable machines, everything. Tread. After lockdown, that happened. But yeah, thanks for watching my stream. But look after your health, you know. It's very important. Always stay healthy. Try to eat, eat right. Exercise often. I mean, even go, going for a walk around the block's good enough. Doesn't have to be crazy. We can use Henselt to get us, um... Wait, what do we have left in there? Well, yeah, we got Carabalista or that. Still got other options. Oh, it's too cold, huh? Oh, damn. Oh, wow, I see. Yeah, you could do that. I could do that now. Oh, okay. Bad situation, huh? Looks like we're winning on even. Or well, I might take... Might make him go a card down. If we go long round 3 with card advantage, that's probably not bad either. <laughs> Why are you telling me to heat wave now, Dutchie? You trying to make me throw this match? You're supposed to be my Gwent advisor. Give me good tips here. Try and make me lose. <laughs> I know, man, I'm messing with you. We could even go just for the finish now, Phil. Why not? I don't see why not. Your mind doesn't work sometimes, that's alright. Uh, what if we just start like this? Maybe they missed some cards. They don't have some good cards here and we can bleed them really good.
Yeah, definitely. <laughs> nice, well done. They might go siege as well. This might be like a mirror now. But I have heat wave for that. <laughs> yeah. It's funny, hey. Yeah, we got heat wave, man. Oh wow. How would they play it like that though? Reinforced Ballista will take care of it, you reckon? Yeah, that, that's going to play for some good points too. Because they don't have much on the board, right? we we'll probably go Henselt next. Um, yeah, I could click that. One piece, fight for it. Maybe this. Insult fall test? Yeah, so we got a right, yeah? Carabalista to the left of Henselt, yeah. It worked out good. Yeah. Yeah, they got a bad hand. It's good that we bled. I'm coming, I'm coming. Nice. It was good to push them on the first round to win on even. Worked out very nice. Dark clouds gather over Tameria. Wow, that's really weak pool. Oh yeah, you think so? It probably would be best. Oh, I killed it. Cool. We'll just go that. Yeah. Yeah. We got it, we got it.